Okay, I had a request to do a pelican. And uh, so I got online, got a picture of a pelican, and uh, I drew it out. Or I, I, I traced the pattern off of the, the internet, in other words. It was just a picture. I went to images, and uh, I drew this picture off of it, of a pelican. And, uh, you know, you can get a lot of your images for carving anything off of uh, the internet. In other words, you can uh, go on there and just find a picture of a pelican or something like that that they have. And uh, take the picture and just draw it. And I don't think that bothers anything with copyright laws or anything like that. Uh, uh, but, there's a pelican. It's one and a half inches wide, and this is just going to be a little project we're going to do. Someone asked me, said, I'd, I'd like you to do a pelican, and I said, all right, well, we'll, we'll try to do something like that. So, anyway, I got it cut out, kind of drawn a little bit like that, and we'll go ahead and carve this little jewel. And, now, on the pelican, and I'm familiar with pelicans because down here on the Gulf Coast we have a lot of shorebirds and pelican is one of them. Especially when you go on the uh, uh, ferry to Galveston, you see a lot of them. There are a lot of them along there. So if I was to carve this pelican, the first thing I would do would be to start with this inside right in here. Um, bringing this taking my knife and coming around here and kind of separating that first of all. Now you want to be careful around the beak around here. Because it is, uh, because that's going to be an area that is inset on the pelican. Just sort of give us our guidelines here where this is. There we go, just like that. And on this side, the same way around there separating this through here taking our knife and Knocking that out there. Got to bring that down. There it is. Bring that inside in there. These are real common birds to our shores down here. Uh, a pelican is a huge bird. It, it really is. Uh, you don't realize how big it is until he actually gets up and flies. And the wingspan is almost like a, 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 a greater Canadian goose. Uh, very, very large. Now, I want to I say this. When you go to do the pelican. You want the grain to be running this way, okay? You want your grain to be running this way on the pelican. Because um, you're carving, as you do your carving, uh, like that. Now you also want to come down here where you establish that your wings are 
and just remove a little bit in there. And here. Okay. Okay, we're going to work on this neck a little bit. Because the neck is uh, pretty thin. So you like that. No, these uh, these birds, I see them a lot when I go to Galveston, and uh, uh, we live about 60 miles from Galveston. You know, we were Galveston was was devastated by uh, Hurricane Ike as most of you know during the period that we suffered severe severe damage in our areas um, uh, which is and when you take the ferry to Galveston uh, on Highway 87 then you see a lot of, of uh, a lot of these uh, birds, a lot of them. A lot of shorebirds. Uh, our beaches, uh, our beaches are not like Florida beaches. They're not beautiful beaches, and uh, in fact, they're you know they're not ugly, but they're. But you do one good thing. You do see on our beaches is a lot of wildlife. If you're interested in in. Uh, uh, birds and different types of birds that's something we do have to offer in this area is um, wildlife alligators uh, all kind of things and there's a lot of alligators <laughs> we're on the Louisiana coast folks alligators are uh, prevalent here in fact there's so many of them you don't even get scared of them anymore you don't even notice them hardly anymore Okay, we're getting there, getting there slowly. See? Doesn't look like much now, but we'll get there. <laughs> 